Good evening YouTube. Um, I thought what I'd do tonight is um, a review on uh, one of the one of the day sacks um, that I've got that I use. Um, I'm a bit of a kit junkie and I've got quite a few uh, day sacks, Bergens. Um, so I thought it's about time I um, I started to show people what I've got and uh, and tell them um, what I think about it. It's good points and it's and the bad points. Um, so I'll uh, I'll just change change the camera um, so that it's a bit closer and you can. You can see better what uh, the features and etc. the bag. So the one I'm going to start with is my DEFCON 5 Extreme Modular um, Day Sack. So I'll move the camera so you're a bit closer and uh, we'll kick it off. So hang fire and uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Right, okay, this is it. The DEFCON 5 Modular um, Extreme Modular Rucksack, Day Sack. Um, it's around the 60, 60 litre um, mark, um, and that's counting all the separate um, pockets on it, like the two side pockets. This pocket here on the bottom. There's a little zip pocket here, there's a secondary compartment here and then you've got the main body. Um, it includes it all um, in that 60 litres. Now I originally, um, I originally bought it because of its size, um, because I thought 60 litres it, it, it's going to get the majority of my stuff in, um, but what I failed to to take into account was the individual separate pocket so it didn't quite work out so I tend to use it um, as an overspill bag um, when we go away um, kind of especially in the winter when you take that little bit more kit um, just to catch the oddments that I can't fit in the Bergen okay so we'll start on the back Hopefully you'll be able to see that. The, the back is well textured. These, are, these bits are raised so you'll get airflow um, round them. Um, it's got quite a large uh, back support at the bottom or lumbar support at the bottom. This waist belt is actually removable. If you put your hand under the back, you can hear that. It's Velcro. It's Velcroed in. So it won't move, but you can take it off if, um, if you so require. It's got a nice size belt on it. Um, what is it? Probably about, probably about two inch, I would think. Good, decent um, clip on it. And it's adjustable on both sides. So you can actually get the buckle to sit in in the middle of your of your waist. It's also adjustable here, so you can you can pull it tight a bit more, or you can let it out a bit. It also unclips, which enables you to be able to take it take the waist belt off. Same on this side. The, um, the end of the straps have got Velcro on them, so you can roll them up to keep them tight, nice and tidy. Which is quite a which, which is quite a nice feature. 
also on the back you've got a zip bit here it's got a nice hard plastic sheet in it let me come around there and see if I can show you okay you've got a it's quite deep so uh, and a bit dark in there so we're not seeing but you can stick a, a uh, three litre water bladder in there or I think in actual fact you could probably get two in there um, hole at the top there for your, your drinking straw just there for your drinking drinking tube to go through um, to come out I say it's got a nice hard plastic bit in there see that nice plastic bit that keeps the back nice and rigid which you could take out if you you know if you so if you so desired shoulder straps pretty good they're uh, they're not your, your usual straight they're uh, what's the word contoured I think that's the right word I don't know um, so they fit on your shoulders really well. Same again down here. You've got your quick release buckle, and on your on your strap, you've got the Velcro again, so you can uh, tie up your strap and keep it nice and neat. Metal D ring there. Bit of a metal D ring there, so you could attach. Um, paste beads if you were using paste beads or you could attach your compass, torch, you could attach out onto there really. Um, another strap or loop that you could attach something to um, or run your, um, your hydration tube down there. Same on this side, that, uh, that doesn't come with the Bergen or the day sack I should say. That's a max edition. Um, what you call it, Grimlock I think it's called, which I use to attach my hydration tube to. You've got your sternum strap, sternum strap there, and that basically is the back of it. Moving on to the side, Okay, you've got a side pocket there. Pretty reasonable size. Um, you can put whatever you wanted in there. Um, a, a drink bottle, little bits of odds and ends, cordage, whatever. You can see it's got molly attachment. Just move that strap down Molly attachment there, so you could attach another pouch um, onto the side of there or attach something with paracord or a bungee, whatever. You've got a strap here that clips into there so you can cinch it down. You know, if you haven't got it, if it's not full, you can compact it. Same again up here. Also on the side, you've got a carrying handle there, so you can carry it sideways if you so desired. On the top, another carrying handle there. In the centre here, just trying to work out which way it goes, you've got An area there that's velcroed that you can put your your hydration tube can come out of, and that velcro's on both on you know opens up both sides, but it is stitched down at both ends, so it, it's not like a flap you can lift up, like this one on this side that's got the hole there, so you could use that for your, you can have your hydration tube run out of there or 
Um, if you're using it in the military, you can you can poke a radio antenna out there. On this side, it's the same. You've got your small pocket with your um, strap. Another carry handle. Another strap there, and then again, you've got your your Velcro for your hydration tube. Okay, moving on to the front, we'll start at the bottom, hopefully you'll be able to see this, I'll try and zoom in a bit and see if it'll pick it up a bit better. Try that. You've got quite a long, long pouch or pocket, again with the molly on, so you can attach other things to the, uh, to the outside. All the zips have got what I think is paracord, or the equivalent of paracord, for opening it up. The zip goes three quarters of the way down, round, so it's only the bottom that's, that's not got a zip on it. Nice big um, eyelet for water to drain out. Okay, inside, on the front flap, You've got a netted pocket, quite deep. You could put all sorts of little knickknacks in there. Um, on the inside, these are individual netted pockets. Um, so, right, you put your mobile phone in them or a GPS or, or whatever, a, a camera if it's small enough to fit in it. And again, it's reasonably deep, so you could really, you could really pack it out with all sorts of things. I've put like, tent pegs and bungees and, and that sort of stuff in there before. Um, it's not quite big enough to take um, a large tarp, but like a small um, individual tarp, you should be able to get in there, no problem. Okay, on the upper front compartment here, you've got another zip, another zip pocket. And we'll pair our trouser elastics in there. That's from a while ago. Um, when this is full, or when, when the day sack's full, Really, the sort of things you, you'd probably be putting in or, or want to be putting in here are like um, maps, um, any books maybe, um, anything that you, you want to get to quickly perhaps, um, like a guidebook, a map, a torch, your head torch, say. Um, you could also put like your, maybe your wallet or whatever in there or a bit of cash or snacks even. Next, uh, next compartment on the front is the, the bigger one. Zips the majority of the way round. Um, probably get maybe two thirds of the way round this time. Again, quite good zips. I don't think the YKK because there's nothing on there to tell, to tell you because they, they, they've got the paracord on them. Okay, inside then, inside this front one. You've got three, let me zoom that back out because you can't see. Let's get some light on the subject. I'll be back in a second. Right, I'm back again. Hopefully you'll be able to see you'll be able to see a little bit better. Okay, here you've got three pockets um, staggered. Key keeper there. Hopefully you can see that. There's a key keeper there. 
So you could put your keys on there and just drop them in there and they're out like this. The top pocket here, it is quite deep. Um, again, notebooks, that kind of thing in there, I would think, I would say maps, that sort of thing. Same again with this one, same again with that one. Then you've got three pen slots to stick pens, markers, pencils, whatever. Then here, um, I would say, are for magazines, spare magazines. Obviously, if you're not using it um, military-wise, then you could st stick wherever you want in there. And they've got like a, a nice elasticated fastener with Velcro on there. I tend to just put whatever I can get in there, really. Again, quite deep. Um, one of the negative points I've, I've, I've found about this um, bag, um, and I've started noticing it about a year after I'd had it, so it was out of, it was out of warranty, is, I'm trying to work this so you can see it, hopefully, maybe. But, I don't know whether you, be able to, you can tell or not, the material started to thread or fray. So now you can get into, you can get into this pocket through there, through the, no great drama, but I probably could fix it, but it means unstitching all of this and and then re-stitching it, so I haven't, as yet, I haven't bothered. Or I could just pull it all out, you know, if it's... Okay, then, I'm do these clips. Move on to the main compartment. I can find the zip strip, here we go. These zips are uh, three quarters of the way round. So then it opens nice and big. Let's try and bring you down a bit. So on the front of the inside, you've got this top netted pocket with a zip on, and you've got another one here. All sorts of little knickknacks you can put in there, you know, snacks, boiling the bags if you use boiling the bags, whatever. Um, I don't know. The, the, the limits are endless really aren't they, there is, as they say, they're as good as your imagination. Okay then inside, this round. it's quite a big, reasonably big, um, and on the inside it did have these straps, so you could so you put your sleeping bag in and to compress it a bit, if you, if you folded it flat, to compress it a bit more you could use these straps. Same on this side. And there were two running up each from the bottom to the top, so you could really compress things down. However, they just weren't on the seams. They just weren't caught very well, um, and they, they, they frayed. The stitching, they, they weren't caught very well on the stitching, and also um, the end wasn't melted enough. Um, so they've just, uh, I, as I've used them and pulled them tight, they've just pulled, they've pulled out. So, 
the up and down ones I ended up pulling out. This bottom one is still pretty well attached. This one on this side is um, is still reasonably attached. So it's just it's just the one on this side that um, I need to reattach or pull out on the other side. Um, so that is basically it. That is my DEFCON 5 Extreme Modular Rucksack. Oh, one last thing to point out. Moving a bit closer so you can see. The shoulder straps, one of them started to pull away again because the webbing hadn't been sewn 100% and also the ends hadn't been, um, hadn't been melted properly. So what I did was split it on the inside, on the inside from about there to like there, put in another piece of webbing, um, a, a long piece, folded it over and then stitched it on, stitched it on to this bit to, um, to repair it. And since I've done that, I've had some quite heavy loads in it and um, it seems to have lasted okay. Let me adjust my table now. Okay, so I hope that was um, of some use to anybody or somebody. Um, hopefully, um, any reviews that I do will get. A little bit better. Um, on the whole, I'm very pleased with the with the DEFCON 5. Um, it is a useful bag. There's just those um, couple of little niggling bits. The, the the webbing that's not been stitched in and melted properly, um, and that fraying material on that uh, that pocket divider. But other than that. Um, it's it is a good it is a good bourbon day sack. Um, summertime, you, maybe you could get away with um, getting all your gear in that if you're a lightweight camper. Um, you know, if you're only using like a jungle bag um, and you're into all your lightweight and um, like your meth stoves and and what have you, um, you might well get it all in there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope I haven't bored you too much, and um, any comments or tips are uh, are much appreciated, and uh, leave them in the in the, the, the box in the comment section below um, until the next time stay safe out there and have fun and I'll catch you in the next one mm.